So I'm just going to instruct in the use of ImageJ to create an animated GIF. An animated GIF is essentially a series of images that are played back to back. So you might have frame one and then frame two and then frame three. And you might want to just show frame one for one second, frame two for one second, and frame three for one second, and then repeat. Obviously, to make such an image, you want every single frame to have the same dimensions. So let's just check the first one and the second one here. So we see the dimensions are 1941 times 1899. And if I just open each image up in photos and I press the right arrow key, you'll see what I'm trying to make from this series of images. So let's open up image J now. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop the first image into image J to open it. Now, this particular frame, I want to be displayed for longer than the rest of the frame. So I'm just going to open it up six times. And now I just want to add all the rest of the frames. So I'm just going to left click the first one, hold down shift, and then left click the last one and just drag them all to image J. So you can see image J is essentially opening every single image up separately. And we'll wait till it's finished opening all the images that we just gave it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to image and then go to stacks and select images to stacks and we'll just name the stack one and then we'll select OK. So stack is essentially a series of images and you see they're all together in one window now and essentially the stack gives you an additional time axis which you can use to scroll through the images. So we can save the stack as an animated GIF by going to file save as and then animated gif now here we have the options to set the duration of each frame so i'm going to set each one to 1000 milliseconds and that's a second each and we also have the loop setting so i'm just going to set that to zero and now i'm just going to save this as an animated gif so it will take quite some time for ImageJ to process this animated GIF because it's got a large number of frames. So animated GIFs can be opened in a web browser. So they can be loaded in some pages if you're running a website. They can also be displayed in PowerPoint. And now I'll open up my animated GIF using photos. My animated GIF is of a fluorimeter. So with a fluorimeter, you have a white light source. And then you have an excitation monochromator, which has a grating. Now a grating essentially turns the white light source into a rainbow. And depending on the angle you rotate this grating, you can get a different color of light coming through to the sample. So we can excite the sample with any color of light that we want. And we can put another monochromator at right angles to it. So we can measure the light coming from the sample and any color that we want. And what we are doing in this measurement is we are exciting the sample holding the excitation wavelength constant, scanning 
the emission monochromator from ultraviolet to red. And then we're stepping the excitation monochromator until we've scanned both monochromators. This gives us a 3D profile of the sample in terms of excitation, emission and intensity. Such 3D profiles can be used to fingerprint samples and are commonly used in water quality measurements, i.e. to determine if water is safe to drink or not.